when when I when my voice started to get low, lower and no one could hear hear me, you felt like you didn't belong to anything because you would be talking. I was be talking to a bunch of people in the in the boxing ring who basically, and uh, they, I'd be talking and all of a sudden someone would break in and talk like I wasn't even there and they weren't even listening to me and you didn't felt like you didn't belong to to anything, you know it just felt like you were left out. So, and I started crying, getting upset and everything. And Talking in noise elicits what's called the Lombard effect. This is an automatic reflex to talk louder in noisy environments. You experience this on a daily basis. When you talk louder in a noisy restaurant, uh, you're experiencing the Lombard effect. We also tend to slow our speech rate and articulate more clearly in noise. When I did my study, I found that patients with Parkinson's disease did best in the noise condition. Not only were they louder, but also their physiologic support for speech, in particular, the way that they used their respiratory system was more normal or more like typical older adult control participants. And I thought to myself that it really would be beneficial if a patient could walk around in this little bubble of noise. The noise would only be on when they were talking, would turn off when they stopped talking, would not be audible to their communication partners. And I wasn't sure if we could do this. So I talked to an engineer who told me that it would be quite easy to build a device like this. Of course, it is never as easy as engineers seem to think it will be. It took a lot of time and effort, but what you have is the Speech5 device. And this device is wearable in everyday environments for the patients. It gives them some success in everyday communication. It allows them to communicate with the people who matter most to them, their spouse, their family, their friends, and in the environments in which communication matters most to them at the dinner table, at family gatherings, at church, in social groups. We've looked at the effectiveness of this device in about 50 patients so far. We've found at least 90% of them become louder, more clear, or have improved rate or some combination of those three things when they use this, this device for 8 to 12 weeks. It's, at times I can't, no volume. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess because of the, the acoustic pneumonia, it's not, my speaking is not clear. It's getting worse. Okay, Leo, so I am recording you again, this time uh, with the Speech 5. Can you just turn your head all the way that way for a moment, just so I can capture that in your ear? Yep, okay. And I'm going to have you just read that top paragraph of the Rainbow Passage, and you can begin. When sunlight strikes, air, raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of light, white light, into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparent beyond the, rain, the horizon. Excellent, thank you. You're gonna know a whole different world when you can talk and people are gonna to listen to you.